Okay, I'm home and settled slightly. I have to get ready for church. But um, <clears throat> wasn't it nice seeing Tracy? How many of you have either read a comment from her or experienced a comment from her? What a mess. She's funny. I love her already. Um, since my last weigh-in in December, or I guess I guess my first weigh-in in January, it looks like I've lost a total of 5.8 pounds. It is, totally. 5.8 pounds, 3.8, and then 2.0 today. So I'm off to a good start. We are, what are we, 13 days in? So I'm halfway, over halfway to my goal of... 10 pounds in a month. So we're doing really well there. If you don't know and you're new to my channel or new completely, I say welcome. Hi, this is Gina, the crazy lady. You never know what you're gonna get. I have a, like a little mini goal of, we're going on a family vacation in April and I want to lose 10 pounds a month till we get there to get me back to where I was when we went to Disneyland the last time on a family vacation, if that makes sense. And that was in 2012, so a long time ago. The why behind the goal is extra powerful. And everything we talked about in the meeting today was in regards to the why, your why. I mentioned that last week, to be prepared with your new why. I didn't actually come across my new why till in the middle of the meeting. I shouldn't say new. In addition to my original why until the middle of the meeting. For instance, you might want to be healthier, to have more energy, play with your kids, grandkids in my case, that was my why. Losing weight could make it easier to try new adventures. Imagine what a healthier lifestyle could bring you. Okay, so in the meeting today, she, uh, Carol, my coach, workshop coach, not Weight Watcher Leader, same person, new title. She kind of walked around the room, kind of nonchalantly, calmed everybody down, said a few words to get us in kind of a, a zen type mood. So Gina is not a zen person, but let's just take a moment and think really quietly in your soul. Just quiet yourself down and get a mental picture of yourself being healthy being healthier being the healthy that you want to be so get that picture in your head and then she asked several people to share what their picture was what came to mind for you so i'm going to ask you the same thing at this moment Pause the video, don't even go forward, don't watch it, and then write your comment. Comment right now. You can comment later, again, if you have something else you want to say. Tell me what a zen-like feeling of you being healthy, no matter what it is, looked like in your head in that moment. Okay, I'm assuming all of you have paused by now because if you haven't, I'm going to be getting on to you. Okay, so at this point, you've all got it in your head. You've written it down. You've commented, and um, it's there. It's in the comments. You can always go back to them. You have it. That mental picture, now that you have it in your head, might not have been what you thought of when you first started Weight Watchers, it might be something totally different. And the point is, does it, does your healthy reflect your original why? If it doesn't, you need to revisit your why. If that picture that you had in your head that you just commented about doesn't reflect on your why, if it, if that your why is not going to get you to that healthy zone, then Take this week or this moment or it might clarity might happen in this video and let me know. Change 
your Y if you need to, add to it, alter it, um, whatever needs to happen. Okay. To zero in on your Y, imagine what a healthier lifestyle can bring you. The more detailed your Y, the more it will help you keep moving toward your goals. Okay. So for me, I had that mental picture that came into my head was absolutely nothing I had ever thought of before. It wasn't anything that I thought was what I was doing this for. So it's okay for you if you still didn't do it and you thought it was weird that you're like, I'm not writing that down because that don't have nothing to do with nothing. One girl said, um, she closed her eyes and as she was thinking it through and she has a long way to go to get to goal, she said, I saw myself zip lining. And another lady said, I saw me and my six-year-old shopping for healthy, well, uh, uh, and her mindset being healthy, not having a bad mental picture of what is healthy and not. So hers, hers wasn't even about her. It was about her child. Another girl uh, saw her uh, traveling. She, she saw her uh, healthy zone meant that she was free to travel. I saw, <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> I saw uh, very trendily dressed young, uh, not young, because I can't go back in age, uh, girl well put together, with a really spiky, short hair, trendy haircut, which I've always wanted, but I've always thought I was too fat to pull that off, too unhealthy, too, you know, just too much to pull off a short, trendy haircut. And when I say short and trendy, I mean like stacked in the back, spiky all over, maybe frou-frou in the front, really, really well tailored black suit, nice dressed, nice shoes, the nines, right? Dressed to kill. That's what I saw. Never one time, not once in this journey, did I think I want to do this so that I can wear cute trendy clothes and cut my hair all off <laughs> until today when apparently I was in a Zen mode and answering that question. It's something to think about where your heart is isn't necessarily what you are planning for. So find your why. Answer off the top of your head. Off the top of your head, why do you want to get healthier? Which immediately right now, new comment, write it down. You'll always have it written in stone. Answer the why. Answer your why right off the top of your head. Dig a little deeper and make it yours. And then finally, keep your why close to you. Keep it in the forefront of your mind. Think about it every day. Choose to let your healthy lifestyle journey become forefront for you, not something you think, oh, I have weigh-in on Sunday. Let me start seeing what I can do on Friday to maybe have a little loss or maintain. Put you first. Make it about you. And this week's recipe, um, it looks good. It is smoky seared cod. I've never had cod with potatoes, something, something, and dates. Backwards, that lo looked like sub datas. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm blind, you all know that. So um, you can find this recipe on the website and um, know that uh, right now when if you are a Weight Watcher member but you don't attend meetings, for now on the Weight Watcher app there's something you can go to um, and we have paired with, uh, partnered with uh, Blue Apron and there's a pretty good advantage to you starting it. I think it's a 50% discount on your first order, something of that nature. Um, I haven't really even thought about that. I haven't checked into it, I haven't looked into it, but Weight Watchers and Blue Apron are now connected, whereas Weight Watchers is no longer, I should say this differently, 
WW is paired with Blue Apron and WW is not um, partnershiped with Craft anymore. So if you find that you can't find certain things that you've always been able to find in the past, they're probably under the Craft name, not the WW name anymore, or they're just off the shelves. So there is that. So anyways, here's your recipe. If you want it here, you can get it, or you can get it on the website, which is probably easier for you. I really enjoyed the meeting. I really enjoyed getting to meet Tracy. Found out some information about her where she's, you know, it's a small world. It's a really small world in the scheme of things. You can find a connection pretty easily with people around you if you just dig a little bit. I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to get ready for church. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. God bless.